When you pull out a favorite silk or wool sweater, do you give a little scream because maybe you've discovered it's been ravaged by moths? Well, our next guest has a simple and really elegant solution to that problem. We welcome to AM Northwest the owner of Cash Cache, Rosemary Christ. Rosemary, Rosemary, welcome. Thank we, you. We want to show people, let's get right to it, because let's show people what you created. Okay. And these are called cachets, right? Taking no, these are called couvertures. Couvertures, okay. The line okay. is called Cash Cache. It's an elegant line of uh, garment sleeves or bags, if you will, but we call them couvertures, which is a French derivative for a cover. And uh, the point of it is people don't know really how to take care of their their clothes, like their, their sweaters, sweaters, until they get this moth hole, and then they go to their cleaners, and they're devastated. And it's going to cost you like about $40 right. to get that repaired, if they can. So the, <clears throat> the way it's been designed, number one, you can see this strip down here of plastic. Mm -hmm. So when you so put you it in the drawer, what's in it. Yeah, you have it in a drawer, you can see it. If you have it on shelves in a closet, then you can see what you have there. Oh, oh good idea. Okay. Oh, yeah, take a look at this picture that we have here. And, and, and the idea here is uh, you, you take your, your finer garments, uh, uh, any garment, especially you, you store it in here rather than just stack sweaters one on top of another. Absolutely. You, you put just one sweater in here, one garment, or can you, you put You could multiple? put more than that. Okay. Okay. And I, I do want to make this clear. First of all, I came up with the concept because... I was with a high-end retailer, mm -hmm. and we would have women come in with holes in their knit pants or their, their sweaters, or et cetera, et cetera. And I thought, they're just putting them in plastic bags or nothing. Yeah. And if they have to have them repaired, it's going to cost $40. Yeah. Okay, so how do we take care of this? Okay, you don't want to put, in, put uh, mothballs in there. They're toxic and they smell. Mm -hmm. Cedar's great, but it doesn't hold its fragrance. You don't... So do you put a fragrance up? Because I'm not okay. Here's the here's inside here. You can't see it from the outside. Mm -hmm. There is a little sachet. This has six organic wildcrafted herbs oh. that repel or deter the moths from nesting inside your. Oh great! You know. Okay. So and one thing, it was put together by an Oregon herbalist. So that that they the the combination neutralizes the smell. So I'm not going to smell this in my sweater. I don't. I don't want to smell like yeah, right. I wear oh, a fragrance. Point. Very good. But point. it does the deal. It, it does it. And then this seals up with with the button. It's just here. a little button like so. And uh, and then the idea is one moths and, and whatever else you know they're, they're, they they could be harder to get to it to begin with. And dust. That's the other thing I was right. going to ask you because if you, I wear a lot of black sweaters and they're and they're dusty. Even if you keep the cleanest house, dust is in the closet. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You know. Now inside it's all lined. Okay. What, what do you like? Is that satin? Yeah. It's a satin. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. This is washable. And, and this is like a great gift, too, for, a, I would think, like a bride. You, know? for, you can do sets. Mm -hmm. If you go onto the website, you can get six small, six large, three three large, three small. Let's, let's take a um, look to it at some of the... You have different size... Uh, I do. You have a large and as well, small. Right? So, here's, right. Here's so the, this, this particular size here would be great. I put both of these, a little camisole mm -hmm. and a sweater in this. The larger one, you could put a blanket in. This is a very um, large, bulky sweater. Yeah, this would be a great idea for traveling, wouldn't it? It's absolutely perfect for traveling. I have over here, I'm trying to get into this I one here. Have sweaters here, too. Right, right? that's the heirlooms. The other thing oh, is heirlooms. Oh, good point, heirlooms. What about your little baby clothes that you loved? Mm -hmm. You know, you might want to keep them for your grandchildren. Sure. They don't change. Mm -hmm. Right. So you... you uh, Keep them in a couverture or, or a christening clothes, that kind of thing. There's right. another yeah. one. We can pull this one out, Helen. This is a beautiful christening dress. In fact, the mother of this baby, who's now grown, uh, she hopes maybe her grandchild will have this christening dress. Yeah. Oh, so, nice. Very nice. Now, uh, you said this is, is this just machine washable? What do you do? Cold, if you I've done it in cold water. Mm -hmm. Lay it flat. And just touch it around the edges with the iron. Be very and careful. You don't want to touch the But I'm wondering plastic. how often would you really need to clean it? You probably, you probably not don't, often. right? No. no but I mean, it's a, it's the point being, David, is that you've got the you, option. You said if you had to. And, right. and they come in this color right now, but you're going to work well, on coming up with the colors, down the way, colors, we'll, look, right? we'll look at that. Okay, yes. So that's beautiful, though. Right, and, uh, and by the way, we want to mention Rosemary has been very generous. You've given us two of these, a small one and a large one, as right. a gift pack. And we'd like to give it away right now. How about... 
uh, to caller number 13. Caller number 13 wins this gift pack. Okay, this is one of those where you say, I wish I'd thought of that. Yeah. One more thing. If we yes. have time, I don't know. It's great. There's a lot of knitters out there. It's great for knitting. Oh, good, yeah. Good so, idea. for instance, here we've got the, the skeins of wool, and, and we also have a, a project.